still starting up. Okay, we are now live on YouTube, live on Periscope. How you doing? Welcome to the December 2015 edition of Ask AS21 on the 21st. Hello, welcome on Periscope. How's it going? So I am Keith F. Shovlin, publisher and chief creative of AS21 Publishing of Mount Vernon, Virginia, here taking your questions on writing, editing, publishing, marketing, any questions you have about getting your book out there. You're a self-published author or want to be a self-published author, now's your chance to find out about, you know, get your questions answered. Uh, if you took part in National Novel Writing Month in November, you have your finished manuscript, and now you're wondering what's next, go ahead and ask your questions of me, and I will do whatever I can to help you out. Let me, there we go, a little bit more centered on Periscope. So now's the time. Send in your questions. Go ahead and yes, they'll pop up right on the screen here in uh, Periscope and on YouTube. We're also tweeting at AS21. Just... Uh, follow up with the hashtag AskAS21. We're on Facebook.com slash AS21. You can email us, pub at AS21.com. That's AOIS21.com. We're on pretty much every social media site you can think of. We're on LinkedIn. We're on YouTube. We're on uh, Tumblr. We're on Twitter. We're on Pinterest. We're on Google+. So feel free to send your questions in. Now, for those of you that may have been watching our the first ePress 21 webinar on Are You Ready to Self-Publish? Thank you for joining us now in the questions, question and answer section. So feel free to send any questions you have in. We're very happy to answer anything you might want to ask. So we'll talk a little bit tonight. Uh, obviously, it's the holiday season. So talk a little bit about some of the promotions that people try to do, tend to do around the holidays. One of the top things you could do for getting your book out there if you're trying to do basic promotions is, of course, giving your book as a gift. In fact, there's a, always a big move, hashtag give a book. This is be the third year that I've seen it going around Twitter. And the idea of not only buying books for yourself but giving it to giving books to family and friends now obviously that's not specifically meant for your book but basically any book out there but the ability to share your book with your family and friends is a great way of getting it out there because hopefully your family and friends will get your book and they'll read it and they'll share it with their friends or they can they'll recommend it on, you know, do reviews on Goodreads, on Amazon, on iBooks, on any of the online distribution markets. They'll hopefully you can get your co get copies in the libraries and people will be able to borrow your book and read it there. There's also the My Little Library system where it's people setting up free little libraries in random places around the country. I know I've seen one on Capitol Hill, just a block from the Capitol. And I've seen one on East Point, Hort, Maine, the easternmost point in the United continental United States. They had one. So they're all over the place. People just leaving books in order to share them with a larger community after they've done reading them. So now is the time to really celebrate the joy that is reading by give a book. And if that may be your way of trying to promote your own book, that's fine. Or you may be trying to promote a friend's book. That's good as well. Now, of course, there comes a cost with giving a book. Obviously, you're paying for the cost of that book to get out there. And you're not seeing the immediate benefit that you would have if you were to have sold a copy. You're taking that loss. Now, but the thing is, you're going to be spending money on promoting a book. If you're running advertising, you're going to be paying for those advertising, either on a cost per click or a cost per mention. You're going to be spending money trying to do any sort of promotion, whether it's trying to build Facebook likes, where it's trying to get more followers on Twitter, where it's trying to get more people to watch your YouTube videos, to visit your page. And there's almost no guarantee whatsoever that that advertising could pay off in book sales. So basically, you just have to accept that giving away a book or paying for advertising is just part of the cost 
of doing your own promotions for a book. When both when traditional publisher, even independent publishers, are trying to build attention for a book, they will send out their free copies. Under United States copyright law, they have to send two copies of every book published to the Library of Congress to be in order to be properly cataloged. So there's two copies already going away. But then, of course, they're sending preview copies to bookstores. They're sending preview copies to newspapers for reviewers. They're sending preview copies out to online sites and blogs for reviewers. It's you, it's something that you have to keep abreast of. And it is very slowly switching over to where these sites, these newspapers, these libraries are accepting electronic books. Now, if once that conversion makes over, then obviously the cost goes away because you have your one electronic file. You don't need to make additional copies of it. You can just send people a link and they can download their own copy and then that's done. And currently, Moving in that direction hasn't worked too well. There are very few bookstores that are willing to accept electronic copies as their review, and now, of course, even less bookstores that are willing to sell electronic copies of books because there isn't quite ready there the system for selling ebooks in a physical space. Though here at Ace 21, we are strongly behind pioneering the use of USB flash drives for the sale of ebooks. But so there is still that widespread distrust of the ebook market as far as sending out copies but some places are accepting it i mentioned how books are have to be sent to the library of congress the library actually most of its entries that it gets from publishers now is ebooks because of course the low cost you don't have to print the book up you don't have to pay for shipping it's a lot easier. You could send an electronic copy in. The second you got the text finalized, you don't have to have the cover finished. And once, you know, once the cover is done, you can simply update your copyright uh, filing to have that properly. There's a lot of things that are helpful by the switch to the electronic book market. It's just unfortunate that the larger book market hasn't yet completely embraced it. So looking around, let's see, no questions on YouTube, but then of course we haven't had any luck with that in the past. So yeah, send in any questions you have, and I will do my best to answer them. And I seem to have scared away all of our Periscope viewers. Yee. I tell you. All right, not seeing anything on Twitter. <coughs> oh, pardon, I'm getting over a bit of a cough. Actually, lost my voice for a little bit last week. Thankfully, it's rebounded soon enough. Well, we're all zeroed out on the viewers, and we're only 10 minutes in. Now, of course, this is the first one where we start a bit earlier. For in previous months, we started at 9 p.m., which is 2,100 hours, in keeping with AS21, 21st of the month, and all such. But uh, with ePress21 launching at the beginning of the month, we decided to pair it with the half-hour ePress21 webinar, Are You Ready to Self-Publish? So that half-hour webinar will go on at 8 o'clock, with this following at 8.30. So let's talk about some of the things that have been going on in the world of the publishing industry. With On the AS21 Twitter feed, we always endeavor to try to share the big news in the publishing industry every day. And we'll have more about that coming up soon. So let's see, Quarrel Ridge Books and more had an incident this morning where a car, or actually yesterday, where a car actually drove into the front of a store. Thankfully, no one was injured. They're getting ready to launch the Harry Potter uh, uh, theater production in London. They announced the cast, and it's set 20 years after the end of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, so they went for an older cast. And there was a bit of controversy over the choice of a black actress to play the part of Hermione. But J.K. Rowling put that down pretty quickly when she read off the simple description given her of Hermione 
in which he noted no no notion of white skin. And anyone who believes Hermione should be white is putting their own personal feelings on it. Uh, from Ace 21 today, Ace 21 today, we released the latest episode of our poetry podcast, Passion on the Page, and it was a special holiday episode. Ace 21 creative Paul Dickinson Russell, the co-host with me of the Publish Me podcast, read the Robert Frost poem Christmas Trees, so that's available now at media.as21.com on uh, SoundCloud, on iTunes, and on Stitcher Radio. Other things going on. See, Publishers Association rallying against irrational IPO. Uh, the Guardian reports that a novelist Jonathan Saffron Foer is to publish his first novel in a decade. The book called Here I Am is the story of an American Jewish family set against the background of traumatic events in the Middle East. Uh, it's his first book in 11 years. I previously read uh, Everything is Illuminated, read the book, and saw the movie starring Elijah Wood. Big fan of that. So looking forward to the next book from Jonathan Saffron for. Uh, the Motley Fool is reporting about uh, investing in the publishing market, and specifically the top two tra uh, traditional publishers on the market right now, Scholastic Corp or Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Hello, uh, how is life in Spain? We're here in Mount Vernon, Virginia in the Eastern United States. How's the weather over there? Okay. I can tell you here, it's a little cold and windy right now, but apparently it's supposed to hit 70 degrees on Christmas Eve. That is just upsetting in so many ways. So back to the report from The Motley Fool. Despite the challenges to the, in the publishing industry from e-books e and competition from smaller publishers, the two publishers, Scholastic and HMH, have actually outperformed the market. Scholastic has rallied 22 banks. Am I working on something? Well, this is a monthly q and I do on for people to ask questions about writing, editing, or publishing of books. So any questions you have about that, feel free to send them on. We're simulcasting on Periscope and also on YouTube. I do try to answer any questions sent to me. Well, no, no, no reason to say sorry. It's okay. Tried to be pretty uh, upfront with the description as it's written on Periscope. So, hopefully, that didn't write anything that was too confusing. So yeah, so back to Motley Fool report that Scholastic has stock is up 22% while Houghton has gained 4%. So that's showing a large growth in traditional publishing despite the various problems with, that have come, faced the industry over the past few years. Now, of course, Scholastic has been able to ride the success of some of their books, such as the Hunger Games series and the Harry Potter series. So while uh, Hot and Mifflin Harcourt has their title has the Lord of the Rings, Life of Pi, and The Little Prince, which I keep seeing the ads for for that movie. It looks absolutely fantastic. So obviously Scholastic's doing the best of them right now. And that's most that's the news that's at least going around today for the publishing industry. We've had a lot of interesting ups and downs. There seems to be back and forth on analyses of the ebook format, whether it's good for reading or it's bad for reading, whether it's good for the develop, well, if it's whether it's retained or not, whether it's good for development. And some say it's better in boys than in than girls. So, a lot of questionable things going out there. So let's see, anything else on Twitter? And let's see. 
no live questions on Twitter right now. Be yeah, feel free. Anything you want to send along, a Periscope, just type it right on the screen. It'll pop up for me. And if you're on YouTube, you can just type something there, or you can tweet at as21, facebookcom as 21 We have a group there, uh, event page there. You check there to see if we've gotten any questions in on there. And nope. Okay. Facebook has decided not to load fully for me. That's troubling. Trouble. Troubling. That's troubling. Okay, no questions. Hi, how's it going? So it is the 21st of the month. Uh, the Christmas holiday is coming up on Friday. Then we have New Year's a week later, and then the end of 2015. I'm good. How are you? And thank you for asking. So yeah, with at the end of 2015, which is Incredible to think that this year is over already. Feels like it's gone pretty quickly. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, oh, okay. Person was being nice talking and now they've cut away. All right. Well, seeing that we've now have no longer have an audience going on Periscope, and there doesn't seem to be anybody up on YouTube. Checking again. Oh, we do have a viewer on YouTube. Hello. If you have any questions, feel free to type them. Hopefully, it'll pop up on the screen here. It hasn't in the past for some odd reason. see all the strand bookstore will be closed on christmas day well that's good i always like seeing bookstores open because that means they're doing well hopefully but yeah you should definitely take a much deserved christmas break okay all right well it is 10 to 9 and seeing that I have no other questions coming in, I want to thank all those that viewed the pod, the uh, episode tonight. For those on YouTube or those watching on Periscope, we had a lot of people in and out. So, to wrap it up for AS21 Publishing. I am Keith F. Shovlin, publisher and chief creative. For further programming, check out our YouTube page, youtubecom as 21 pub you can find our monthly web series, Creative Speaking, featuring author interviews. We should also have a special holiday broadcast later this week. Uh, we have a couple of podcasts, Passion on the Page Poetry Podcast, uh, which, come, which actually came out with the latest episode today. It comes out every 21 days. And then we have a monthly podcast, Publish Me, which I host, along with author Paul Dickinson Russell who is working on his debut fantasy epic, The Will of the Magi. So that next episode will be coming out on the 7th of January. This month we'll be featuring guest Corey Parker, AS21's editor-in-chief, to talk a bit about the editing process. So uh, check that out, and if you have any questions you want to ask of Corey or of me or Paul, feel free to send that along at Publish Podcast, facebook.com slash Publish Podcast, or Publish Podcast at as21.com. And then, of course, other notes and programming will happen from time to time. We're looking, always looking out for new events to have in the springtime, whether it be at local bookstores or libraries or college campuses. And, of course, I'll be back next month on the 21st, which is what day of the month is January 21st? And that day would be, 
what I was trying to find my calendar app. There it is. So January 21st is a Thursday. So see you on Thursday, January 21st, when we'll be taking your questions again, as well as having another offering of the ePress 21 webinar, Are You Ready to Self-Publish? So thank you for joining us. Hope that what I've been able to share tonight was worthwhile to you and hope that you have a happy holiday, a happy new year, and I'll see you on the other side. Good night.